Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another ultra rare Class B camper van value from Parkway RV Center. Uh, today we're going to look at a 1999, this is a rare one here, this is a Road Trek 170 Popular. Uh, this was traded in on another Road Trek, this is a 17 foot long uh, little mini motorhome camper van. Or Class B's as some people call them. For those of you who subscribe to my channel, you know I had about eight of these little Class B camper vans for under 30 grand, more than any other dealer in the country about two and a half to three weeks ago. Folks, in two and a half to three weeks, we've got two left. This one and a 2000 uh, Road Trek uh, 200. That's it. And these things don't stay on the market very long. This actually came in on trade on another Road Trek. But this is a nice Georgia trade-in. It's only got 84,000 miles. They've done some pretty neat customization work to it. These vans are great on fuel. They get around 15 miles per gallon. They're easy to drive. This is only 17 foot long. Folks, if you've looked at a Ford Explorer mid-size SUV, this is six inches longer than a Ford Explorer. You can park in a regular parking spot. It's easy to drive, easy to park. And like I said, you can drive a Ford Explorer, Toyota 4Runner, or a vehicle of that size, you can drive and park this van without any problems. Got a V8, uh, 5.2 liter Magnum V8, the 318 cubic inch. Runs great, the dash air is ice cold. The dash air, because it's only 17 foot long, cools the entire van. Got a awning, that's in great shape, tires look great. I'm telling you folks, the people, uh, a lady that had this traded it in, Everything on it that I can tell works perfectly. Got all fiberglass roof, so don't have to worry about leaks. Got a 5,000 pound towing capacity hitch. Now we're going to remove these stickers, folks, or if you want them to stay on, just let the salesperson know. Uh, but we are going to, if we don't hear from you, we're going to take them off. Got some dragonflies and blizzards and stuff like that on it. Windshield looks great, motor and van runs and drives great, windshield's perfect. Neat little van, folks. I, I look for this one to sell in a day or two. These things are just impossible to find. And for those of you who are looking for these little Class B vans in this price range, you, I'm sure you're very, very frustrated because the few of these you find are sold just like that. I mean, there's literally people that travel thousands of miles to buy these vans because they're so rare. Uh, this is a 25th anniversary edition. Now, folks, this unit does not have a generator. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I did some research. The, in these year models, the, the 170 doesn't even have a place for a generator, and you really don't need it. Before I go inside, let me show you what the previous owners did to combat that problem. Um... Of course, you don't need it driving because your dash air is going to keep it cool. Heck, it's 90-something degrees outside. It's nice and cool inside. Uh, they have added a 1,200-watt, I don't know how well you can see it, an inverter. That inverter runs your microwave. It runs your fridge while you're going down the road. And it runs your air conditioner, the roof air anyway, on fan only. So you can run the dash AC, run your back AC on fan, this thing's going to be as cold as you want it to be. And of course at night when you're parked, uh, you just plug into shore power at your campground or wherever you're staying at, and you can run your uh, compressor on your roof air so you don't have to leave your van running all night. And uh, it's, that's all you need, folks. Um, and you can, I'm sure, and you can probably turn your fridge off, turn your microwave off, plug in appliances if you need to, like a TV computer anything like that on the inverter 1200 watts a pretty expensive inverter and you can also get a bigger one put in there and you you if you wanted to spend the money folks and it'd be a lot cheaper than putting it what well, you couldn't put a generator in here if you wanted to because it doesn't have a place for one but you could always get on Amazon buy you a 2500 3000 watt inverter maybe hook you up an extra battery in here and you could probably run your AC going down the road, but you don't need it. But if you do do a lot of boondock camping, um, you know, you can just leave your motor running and it'll power your inverter and you'll be able to keep your roof air running. So there's different ways of looking at it, folks. 
they've done some custom work on the inside. Uh, they put some new paneling on the cabinets. I like it. Uh, myself, personally, I think it looks really great. It's got the three chairs, and the benefit of that, well, obviously you can seat an extra person, but you can swivel the front passenger seat around. It swivels all the way around, and this lays down flat, and you've got a single bed, and you've got your double bed in the back. Let's take a look inside. I, I'll be honest with you folks, I don't think I would even mess with um, putting an inverter, another inverter in here. That dash air will literally run you out of here. And I've had it on about 15 to 20 minutes, and it's nice and cool in here. I don't think I would mess with it, to be honest with you. But anyway, up front, you've got 84,000 miles, 684,616. No check engine lights, no warning lights, no brake lights, none of that junk. Dash air is cold, factory stereo, tilt, cruise, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Dash looks good. You know, a lot of these Dodges you want to look, make sure they're not cracked. And this one's not cracked at all. Uh, like I said, both sets, front seats swivel. You've got a table right here that folds out and gives you eating service for three people when you swivel these front seats around. Uh, you've got a furnace. You know, it's amazing to me how much stuff they can put in these little vans and keep them as small as they have. I mean, it's got a furnace. It's got a, it's got a gas water heater, a propane tank. Uh, got a two-way RV refrigerator freezer. Um, microwave, bathroom with shower, all in a vehicle that's the same, that's almost the same size as the Ford Explorer. I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing to me. They can do all that and what little space they have to work with. Uh, you've got a removable mat right here. And this right here, and I'm going to show you how that, that's a rubber mat. It removes up so you can take a shower, and I'll show you that here in a minute. There's, you know, plenty of... Got the little hideaway things like the Airstreams have. That's where you would strap your table at. That's in the back if you didn't want to, if you just want to use that for like a sofa instead of a table booth. You've got a propane stove top. You've got a, of course, a sink, um, refrigerator. And I haven't had the fridge on very long, so, but I can tell it works. And folks, let me tell you something. Even though this is a 99 model, we're still going to go through this thing and make sure everything works before you pick it up. Um, you know, we call it a major systems check, but on these little vans, it, it virtually covers everything but stereos and tires. Uh, you can see the microwave works. It's on the inverter. Um, you've got a window unit AC, which that's one thing I do like about the road treks. You see this little area in here, you don't have much square footage. Why well, put a 13,500 BTU roof air conditioner on the roof? That's very expensive. If it ever breaks down, you have to replace it. This right here, if this air conditioner ever goes out, a couple hundred dollars in a Walmart, and you've got an air that'll last you for several years, and you only need about 8,000 BTU, and don't even really need that much, but that's about as small as you can get to keep this area cool and like i said that automotive dash air does a pretty darn good job keeping you comfortable in here and you've got that you've got the dash heat as well for the winter time and a furnace uh, but it does have an inverter you've got an on and off switch right here just in case whoever buys it needs to know that and then of course you've got to turn your batteries on and all the road treks have a battery switch built into the monitor panel this is just a switch for your 12 uh, another switch for your 12 volt this back sofa slash table booth folds down, makes a double bed. Um, you know, one or two people, and then you've got your single bed up here. You can put a TV there if you want to, or just use it like the people did that had it, used it for storage. Got windows back here with curtains. The back opens up like I showed you earlier. You open this up right here, this little closet, and this is your bathroom, and it's pretty unique. You got a toilet, of course. And this right here, let's see if I can do this one-handed, um, which is not the easiest thing to do, but this right here opens up all the way and gives you a privacy screen. And you've got a shower curtain right here. And again, folks, forgive me if y'all have a hard time because I'm a big guy trying to squeeze in here. You've got a shower curtain track that goes all the way around back to it and then your rubber mat comes off the floor you've got a drain underneath 
So, I mean, is it very comfortable? Well, not really. It's one of those things to use if you have to, but it's there. You've got a built-in water tank, built-in waste tanks, gray water, black water. You've got built-in water heater. So you can take a hot shower um, even while you're out boondock camping. Now, is it something you want to use every day? Probably not. But, you know, for traveling, just to use occasionally, it's great. You know, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot four, 280 pounds. So even in my 38 foot class A, most of the time you're going to see me at the bathhouse uh, taking showers instead of inside my motorhome. Because you get bigger showers, unlimited hot water, and a lot more water pressure than you do in one of these vans or any other type of motorhome. So, but anyway, folks, I mean, it's a nice motorhome. You know, it's clean. There's your water heater, easy to get to. Your water pump's easy to get to. In case you ever need to change it out. Little junk drawer right there. And, and, and they don't waste any space. That, that's what impresses me about the design of these vans. Everything's designed um, not to waste any space. Everything in here, every nook and cranny is storage. Because um, like I said, you know, you're, this is a vehicle the size of a Ford Explorer, six inches longer than a Ford Explorer. So... You don't have a ton of extra space, but every every bit of extra space they got you used for storage. Um, this van, checked out, ready to go, is $21.9. That's a haggle-free price. Now, we don't check these things out till we sell them. Not much in this thing really for us to check out. This is something we ought to be able to move through the shop pretty quick. But, um, you know, what you want to do before you buy this RV on eBay, I'm going to put it on eBay, and that's where I sold a lot of these other vans at. These things are just so rare, folks. I, and I can't, I know I'm being redundant, but but trust me, folks, these things are, if I could only, and I've said this in several of my videos, and, and this is the only type of RV I'll say this about. If I, if they passed a law that we could only sell one type of motorhome or one type of RV, period, at our dealership, in other words, we could only have that one type of motorhome for sale, it would be these Class B camper vans. I've never seen a, a, a larger demand for these vans than, than what these have, especially right now. They're great on gas. Anybody can drive them. They're, comf they're you know, comfortable for the size. They've got all the amenities that big motorhomes got. And you can park in a regular parking space. And people use these more than the big motorhomes. That's why you see more miles on these vans than you do a big Class A. Because people can just jump in these for the day. Go to a picnic. Go to a ball game. Uh, you know, your kids got softball tournaments. Park this thing out there. Have a nice place to hang out that's air-conditioned. Have a bathroom. Have a snacks. Fix you some lunch. You don't have to go to the concession stand. Watch TV if you put a TV in here. I mean, they're so versatile. You need a van for traveling. You know, even if you never spend the night in them, you know, you and another couple go in halves. Have a van to go to casinos, to go to national parks, to travel in and stay in hotels at night. And have very, and be very comfortable while you're on the road. I mean, there, there's just so many versatile uses for these vans besides just RVing. Um, so... Keep that in mind. A lot of people are buying these. There are not many of them for sale under $30,000. I wish, like I said, I had eight of them. I've got this one. I sold seven of them, and then I traded for this one. So that, that tells you how quick I sell these things. That's in a two-week period. Uh, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. 84,000 miles, that price is haggle-free with the inspection because, you know, my RV techs are going to go through this thing. Anything we find wrong with it, we're going to fix it before you get it. Or if you want to come take it like it sits, you can pick it up the same day that uh, you pay for it. If you want to do that, we will discount you the, the van for whatever the inspection cost us. So you got your choice. You can get the full inspection, and the full inspection also includes a walkthrough and a demonstration by our RV text, the one that checked it out includes a 45-day temp tag, includes starter kit, instructional DVDs, and more. Now, if you take it as is, you still get the temp tag and the starter kit, but you do not get a walkthrough or inspection because my guys didn't go over it, so they don't know how everything works on it. They don't know what works and what doesn't. So, you know, you're, you, when you take it as is, you're literally taking it just like you're seeing it in the video, uh, jumping in it and driving it off. And either way you go, folks, I don't think you're going to have a problem. The lady that traded this in, she just got off a trip in it. She was using it. I don't think she would have took a long trip in it.
if everything didn't work. Um, but like I said, I, however you take it, you're going to get a nice van for a great price. It's 21.9. We'll trade. Uh, it is a 99 model, so we do have limited financing, but keep in mind, folks, and, I, and I'm very honest, I'm very open about stuff. If you finance this van, you're going to have to have a pretty good chunk down, and the reason being, folks, and NADA, I'm not a big fan of them, but they are a good source for consumers. NADA book value or, or retail value and the actual market value are polar opposites. And this happens all the time. A lot of people don't realize it. These things are in such high demand. It drives the prices up, even for us to buy them. Um, and the NADA, folks, if I could buy these things for what the NADA retail says it's worth, you would see 150 of them out here on this lot. But it's, it's, it's impossible to sell them for that. People that are buying these vans know this. People that are selling these vans know this. It's kind of like the little uh, Winnebago Rialtas that, that, that used to be very popular before they quit making them. Uh, you know, they'll have a $10,000 NADA and you can't touch them for under thirty grand, no matter where you go. And these vans are kind of the same way. You, if you go by, if you're trying to find one of these for under book value, you're going to be looking for years and you'll probably never find one. I give several thousand dollars over retail for a van like this in good condition any day of the week, folks, and be happy to pay it because they're so rare. Um, in fact, I, I look for these vans all the time that I can sell for under 30 grand, and they're just few and far between. As I'm sure many of you know, so if you need to finance this RV, you're probably going to have to pay a good chunk down, 10, 11 grand, maybe 12 grand. I just have to look the book up and see in either trade equity or cash. Um, or you may want to get a personal loan. But like I said, folks, you cannot touch these things for what the book says they're worth. And fifth wheels are the same way, but they're the opposite right now. These really nice fifth wheels, folks, I've got fifth wheels in my lot just because the market value and the, and the NADA value are opposites. NADA is 40 grand. I've got them out here for 19.9 and still can't sell fifth wheels because the market's so far down on fifth wheels right now that they're half a book. And that's just because market value and NADA value, again, polar opposites and it happens all the time folks trust me um, I fight with it every day and, and a lot of the banks that I deal with are now using uh, almost like what boat dealers use and that's they use RV surveys instead of book values to um, to uh, come up with the value and what they do and what these surveyors do folks they, it's kind of like a house appraiser they'll look online they'll use Google see what other art the same year make and model RVs are bringing online use that as a as a way to help come up with a value for uh, for the RV that they're trying to appraise and a lot of dealer a lot of banks are doing that now and it's a little bit aggravating for the dealers but hey it, you actually actually get a true value instead of that NADA which I'll be completely honest with you folks five ten years from now NADA is going to be a thing of the past more less banks and less dealers are using it because it's so inaccurate but the best way to come up with a value for any kind of used item, folks, is use Google. In a 10-minute Google search, you can look at every one of these 99 Road Trek 170s for sale in the country with prices, details, and everything. And uh, that's what we do. And um, that's how we know what the prices are. You know, that's, of course, they're hard to buy that way, but, but we do occasionally trade for one like this that we can sell worth the money, and this one's definitely a good buy, especially when we start looking at them online. And some of them, some of them's pretty rough at this price range. This one here's nice. But anyway, folks, give us a call. We've been doing this 49 plus years. We're one of the oldest, largest, and most experienced RV dealers, used RV dealerships in the South and in the whole United States, the oldest one in Georgia by far for an independent dealer. Uh, three generations, family owned and operated. We sell five to 600 units a year. We have the lowest prices on the internet. We've got over 170 used RVs in stock. And right there should tell you how rare these vans are. Three quarters of my inventory are used motorhomes. And um, I've got 170 in stock. I've got two of these class B vans, period. That's it. And lucky to have that many. And I've got the rest are class A's and C's and B pluses. Right there should tell you exactly how rare these things are. And give us a call, folks. This thing's, if it lasts more than a day or two, I'll be very surprised. Uh, it's going on eBay, going on 20 of the most popular websites. And like I said earlier, what you want to do is call my non-commissioned salespeople. 
they'll send you over a list of what we check out for the price that you pay and what we repair if needed for the price you pay and they also give you an idea of the current lead time for a class b camper van checkout do all that before you buy folks that way there's no surprises and I say I don't want surprises, that's why I show you the good, the bad, the ugly about these RVs because selling as many RVs as we do a year between four non-commission salespeople, folks, my guys don't have time for, for games. They don't have time for gimmicks. They don't have time for surprises or drama. I mean, these are in and out. We're a high volume dealer and uh, the, you know, the quicker we can get the deals done, the easier, the less problems, the better it is for us and better it is for the customer. So keep in mind, uh, this is a used RV. It is a 99 model. It's nice. It's clean for a 99 model, but it is 18 years old. It's not perfect. None of them are. Uh, you can look at a year old used RV and there's going to be imperfections with it. Now, what we make sure is we cut, make sure everything works like it's supposed to, but any cosmetic imperfections like a ding, dent, scratch, worn spot, stain, anything like that, that's part of buying a used RV, folks. That's why you're saving you know, right at 50 grand over what this thing costs new back in 1999. So give us a call, drop us an email. Uh, we can help you arrange a nationwide delivery. And like I said, financing is available with a pretty good chunk down and approved credit. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.